surrounding myself with water. And I want to let you know another favorite thing for me to do is, of course, be by water. I've talked about that. But also to spend time with God. This not alone is one of my favorite things, but it also helps to clear my mind of all my different thoughts to make me feel at ease and peaceful. It encourages my heart when I'm feeling sad. It gives me joy. And it's so important for all of us to do. And what better place to do it but by the water. With the water crashing around my feet, it is refreshing and awesome. So I'm so thankful that I get to do this today by water. And that is one of my favorite things to do. favorite books of the Bible is the book of Proverbs. Have you guys heard of that before? Hmm. It is a book that was written by a king a very long time ago and the king's name was King Solomon. People called King Solomon the wisest person and king on earth. Do you know what the word wise means? 
Wise means being able to notice the difference and be able to tell the difference between something that is right versus something that is wrong. So if I said to you, I'm going to go steal a candy from a store, would that be the right thing or the wrong thing? That takes wisdom. Wisdom is being wise and knowing that stealing a candy from a store, not a wise choice. So King Solomon was one of the wisest people on earth, despite making a whole bunch of mistakes and doing the wrong things and sinning a whole bunch. But he wrote this book called Proverbs. The book of Proverbs is made up of a whole bunch of really wise sayings. Um, King Solomon put them together and wrote them into the book of Proverbs. And we can read the book of Proverbs and have a whole bunch of wisdom for our lives. So knowing the things that are right versus the things that are wrong. Some of my favorite things in the Bible are found in the book of Proverbs. And one of them that I wanted to share with you today is from Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16 says, a fool is quick tempered, but a wise person is calm when insulted. What does that mean? A fool is someone who's not very smart, not very wise, not able to tell the difference between the right thing and the wrong thing. So a fool is quick tempered. Someone who's not wise is fast to get angry, is very quick tempered and gets angry very easily. So if your brother or your sister or your friend calls you a name, they get angry very quickly at it. That is a fool according to the Bible. King Solomon wrote that a fool is quick tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. Insulting is when you're calling some names or um, something wrong happens against you. God wrote the book of Proverbs through King Solomon, who, as you remember, is one of the wisest people who has ever lived. God wants us to be wise too. How do we do that? All we need to do is open up his word, which is the Bible, and study the truths that are found in it. And one of them is being wise by being calm when people insult you. So I pray that this week when your brother or sister calls you rude names or you get into fights or you feel wronged by something that you are able to stay calm and loving and that you will be wise. That makes God always happy. Thanks for joining us this week at Sunday School. We'll see you next week. Hello everyone and welcome back to How to Eat Civilized. On today's menu we have Oreo cookies. Now this video was not sponsored by Oreo. However, Oreo or Christy, if you'd like me to be sponsored by you, feel free to call. Now, Oreo cookies are a wonderful treat. Again, a sometimes food that you should eat, but not all the time. However, there are some great ways that you can eat this delicious treat. One way is to take the cookie and take a small smidgen of a bite. Now that gets you the, the chocolatey coating one, the outer cookie, because it has a three layers there. So you want to make sure that you get a little bit of the white cream filling. That's my favorite part. Is it your favorite part? Let's try it with a little bit of that. Mm. Mm, that white filling. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Speaking with my mouth full. <laughs> delicious. Now, another way to eat your cookie, I've seen people try it and I love this way, is you twist it and you get the white filling part and you scrape it off with your teeth. Now, don't be disgusting, just scrape it off gently. And do it again. Make sure you get it all. Now, sometimes People like to dunk their Oreo cookies in their milk and it makes it nice and soft and then they take a bite. Make sure it's not dripping because that'd be awful. Mmm, I'm not too soft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Mm. Now as I said, my most favorite is the inside of the cookie and I like to eat that white part. And then what I like to do is put the cookie back together and put it back in the package and then take another one. And eat the white filling. <laughs> and put the bucket back in the bucket.